Good afternoon. Welcome to our oil chat. This is Susan Lawton in sunny New Jersey. Deb, are you there? Yes. Hi, everyone. It's Happy Deb. Thursday. Happy Thursday. We're here to chat about oils. I am so excited. I love oils. Do you love oils? I do. I do. Great. Let's see what's behind cell number one. Okay. Okay. People are always asking me. And yet this is in doTERRA's back office, so you can see it very plainly. What testing does doTERRA do? Well, they start with raw material harvested and distilled. And at that point, all those tests on the right are done, and that's explained in detail in your back office. Essential oil shipped to doTERRA. Guess what? They still test it again when it comes in the huge vats, whether it's in large containers sitting in a dock or it comes by train. However it gets there, they test it. And then again, after it's bottled and labeled, ready for you to consume, they test it again. Mm -hmm. To date, doTERRA is the only one I am aware of that actually submits finished, ready for the shelf, ready to be shipped out to the wholesalers, complete. Other That's people do what they call pour-offs or seconds or you know, first, depending on the word they want to use, to send out. Mm -hmm. We only get testing to do with final, this is it, nothing else is going to happen. So in other words, you're saying we get the creme de la creme. That's it. And only if it passes all the tests. Yes. Doesn't pass Good. the test, guess what happens? It we don't get it. Right. Other oil companies do have a second and third option on all the things we order. Okay. This is one of the products that doTERRA makes. I love doTERRA. They are so clever at putting blends together that help people. You'll notice mm -hmm. underneath here I wrote, do not mix with alcohol ever. Now, Deb, what do you think that means? Hmm. Don't put alcohol in the bottle and roll it on? No. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> I know. I'm only teasing. Do not drink. Seriously, don't don't drink anything, anything that has alcohol when you're using the product. No Mai Tais, no Bloody yep. Marys, no vodka, even though it's see-through. We've discussed no, no, wait, I just saw the name of a new drink, a watermelon teeny. None of those either, huh? Nope, nope, nope. nope. If you combine Clary Sage... After you have been drinking alcohol, let's say you're out celebrating, you've had a couple of shots of champagne or however it comes, and you decide you would like to have a really good night's sleep and you apply Clary Sage, you're going to have a great deal of very colorful dreams that are tipped towards scary things. Oh, no. Okay. Clary Sage works to the acidic side. And it will respond with lack of kindness in your dream world. So please do not drink and use Clary Sage. You will be a happier person. Okay. And these are yeah. rumors. These are not diagnosis. These are all rumors. Okay. People have spread that they personally contributed and said, <clears throat> I've used Clary Sage for this and this and this. And had measurable relief. Okay. We don't call these diagnosis. We call this rumors. <laughs> now, this is a special blend for mm -hmm. clary sage, wild orange, geranium, and bergamot. Combine and apply. I'll let you write that down, but I'll tell you some basics about clary sage. Now, wait, do we need the fan in the freezer, too? That could happen. Okay. Okay. Clary Sage has medically been researched and reported to be antidepressant, antifungal, anti-infectious, antiseptic, 
antispasmodic, anti-inflammatory. It's a great astringent, wonderful nerve tonic. It can, in some cases, cause you to be very, very relaxed. It can create a very soothing and warm feeling. Some people combine it with Lang Lang, and that encourages moisture in areas that previously were having trouble with moisture. Ah, oh, okay. You know, why, why is the new KY? That's, That's the right. we're speaking of. Mm -hmm. This has been known to relax spasms and bronchial tubes and help with anxiety and emotional tension, often found with people who suffer from asthma. It's quite a remarkable oil. One of the reasons we're talking about this is a lot of people have purchased this oil and they're not using it. Or they're only using the blends that are pre-made that are wonderfully effective. But there's so much more to clary sage. Psychologically, clary sage is deeply relaxing. It can create, what was that word you liked earlier? Yes, you, to, you would allow me to become euphoric. Right, and revitalizing. Clary Sage helps strengthen subtle energies and divine inspiration. So when would be the best time for someone to use this? When they're going to meditate, just before they go to yoga, just before they sleep, they okay. can use this, and it's very helpful. Why, okay. looky here. Here's another list of rumors. Wow. That have been reported in conjunction with the use of clary sage. I love rumors because rumors encourage other people to experiment. Clary sage is one of those wonderful ones, Deb, that you use a little bit and it goes a really, really long way. And, there, and I see the word euphoria again. Yes. I think everyone's going to like this. Yes. Now, I'm looking, what caught me in the middle, Sue, is what, that it used to be nicknamed Clear Eyes. What does it do for our eyes? Well, what's really cool is we're going to get there because okay. on one of these slides, but we'll tell you about it. It has to do okay. with fluid balance. It has to do with alkalizing. Okay. And it has to do with, it just has this great affinity for its positive effects on the eyes. That means circulation. Anything mm -hmm. that has positive effects on your eyes, translate that to circulation. Translate okay. that to more oxygen gets to come and visit those cells. And whenever that happens, not only do you feel better and see better, but you have clarity within your mind also. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A little bit goes a long way. Did I mention that? Yes, you did. Okay. This is one of the blends that we were using already, and I thought, I'll just toss this in here. For awareness of your own compassion, bergamot, clary, sage, fennel. On your neck, tummy, and inhale. Trust yourself. I Wonderful. choose to dream big. I believe that love and compassion can save the world. See, Clary Sage helps save the world. Yay. You said you're going to order some more because you had it, but you didn't realize till recently how valuable it was. Oh, my gosh. Uh, no, I just I've learned so many more things about this oil and that I I may have heard but didn't retain and I'm just so happy because there's so many things especially you know as a woman ages and you know different things show up in our body that we can really be a benefit from this and I'm just I'm so excited to try it again I really like you know you know me with my dry skin even though I drink you know gallons and gallons of water it helps that it helps with um well, the bronchial problems that come out this time of year, you know, for me, it's with the allergies and stuff. So, no, I, I this is, she's, Clary Sage is going to be my new friend. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. 
you could use it during your cycle for disturbances by using three to five drops on the abdomen. You can combine it with Roman chamomile, add it to bath water for stress relieving bath. Diffuse or apply to pillow at night for a restful sleep. You can add it to your shampoo or hair conditioner to promote healthy hair and scalp. Um, some more rumors report that it can help with patchy hair. Oh. Yes. Now, I know some people listening to you, you said it can help during your cycle, but for those that are not getting a cycle, um, will this have any any changes to that? Yes, it, it's great for sweats. It's great for perspiration. It's great for um, before, at the beginning of doTERRA, I used to use clary sage and lavender as my deodorant. Worked great. Just stick it under your arms. Knocks out that bad smell. Okay. And Dr. Axe, everybody knows Dr. Axe. Of course, this yes. slide from him because he talks about equal parts of clary, sage, and thyme. It'll keep your hormones in check. And this one you want to rub around your ankle every day. Right. I'm sure the men in our lives will greatly appreciate us having a little bit more balance. <laughs> yes, we got crabby away. Here's some crabby <laughs> away. Please use it. Uh-huh. I like this heat protectant spray. This is, you know me with humidity. This is wonderful. I'm actually, I made up a, a, a portion of this just a little while ago to try. Yes. Yeah, to spray on your hair to um, keep the humidity and make you have full healthy hair even despite the weather. So this is wonderful. Yes. And um, Terry Helms used to tease me and because my hair sometimes does wild things when I'm talking to people and she'd come running over to me with a combination of clary sage and lang lang and just rub it through her fingers and rub it through my hair. So my hair didn't go quite as crazy all over my head. I'm always <laughs> grateful. That's great. Now, here we go. Here's some formulas. Excellent. For eye fatigue. Oh, clary sage and frankincense. That makes perfect sense. Yes. Apply it to the sides of your temples and gently above your eyebrows. Now, what do we say about eyes? I really am one of those people that's very conservative. So if you apply oils two inches out from the orb, that's mm -hmm. the thing that your eye pokes through your skull. Mm -hmm. You don't need to apply it to the eyelid. You don't need to put it right. in the eyes. It's not necessary. Natural. Right, so look, basically up above the eyebrow area and around, right? Right, right around the temples, underneath. Mm -hmm down the nose. Those are all really good places. And trust me, good molecules will find their way. Oh, wait. Excessive sweating? Yes. Some people okay. can't put on a pair of socks and shoes, but in 10 minutes it's soaked through with perspiration. We ask them to change their diet, of course, and to drink mm -hmm. more water, but this soaking really helps, and this is a great combination. Clary Sage. Now, that sounds like something that um, men and boys would benefit from as well. Is this something they could use for that? Absolutely. Plus, the coriander will help tip their attitude toward the positive aspect of life. Okay. It, all right, so women, for all your athletes, athlete foot or stinky feet people, the, the men in your life, here we go. <laughs> yes. Write that formula down. Right, and I think everybody has this one. It's yes. a little child one that Dr. Hill had recommended making up. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you see that Clary Sage is right there helping out. Absolutely. What a combination. Amazing. Yeah, vetiver, lang lang, frankincense, Clary Sage marjoram, and protonated coconut oil. Yes. It's really a great combination. And where where would you use that if you were going to put that on a child? Where would you put it? I like to feet? put it on the bottom of their feet. Okay. Where they go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You can also put it in the diffuser. There are so many great diffusers out there now. 
so you know the teacher and me. So for a child that's like maybe has some agitation issues, some of our special children have some issues, do you think that you'd be able to use that during the day to help them stay calmer? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, you know, it'll calm them without putting them to sleep. Remember our story Absolutely. in Lang Lang, mm -hmm. the reason it helps people focus is because it relaxes you so you get more oxygen. All right, so what about a party in a tube? Could we do that for a child so they wouldn't have to have that smell at school? Could we, is it something they could just breathe in or even for an adult for that matter? Sure. Yeah, we could do it's that, okay. Inhalers, those inhalers are great. Okay. Now that's excellent because you know there's so many children nowadays that just need to be a little calmer. Yes, and a lot of people have used clary sage to enhance their consciousness. Um, I recommended it for a long time to help people with their creative flow. If they're feeling stuck or what used to really get them excited and working in you know creating something they were finding difficulty with, we always use some formula similar to this or this with the clary sage, the helichrysum, basil, wild orange, rose, you know, gently blend it and add two to three drops to the palm of your hand and rub your hands together around the wrists and inhale with clear intention of smooth inspiration arriving and staying through the project's completion. Excellent. You already have everything you need inside of you. Sometimes you just have to calm the outside so you can hear it. Right. And I like the blend for impatience and irritability eliminator. Yes. The coconut oil, the clary sage, the lavender, geranium, frankincense, and patchouli. Yes. My That's really good. The bones behind the ears for that one and your wrists. I like that. Yes. And it smells really good, too. Mm -hmm. It really does. Um. When we work with Clary Sage, you need to know that the overall effect is subtle, which means as you make up the blends or you have the blends and you want them to be effective, you have to be patient because the little bit goes a long way and it works on your body gently. It's not like peppermint that you slap dash and 20 seconds later taste it in the back of your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's a little slower, gentler to your body. Okay. And, and I would imagine that it needs repeti more than one application to obtain some of these things. Right, if sure. you were straight right. driving for yeah. hormone balance. Right, and what else is going to help? Water. 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 And more water. I like this new picture, though. That is really cool. Yes. Well, a lot of people, like, give me pushback when I try to recommend they drink a lot of water. But this picture, I thought, really helped people get it that their cells are made up of so much water that you have to replenish the water because you use up water, you warm up water, you give mm -hmm. off moisture when you breathe, when you eliminate, you're losing moisture. You've got to replace that. And the molecules of the oils are so wonderful. They are your friends. They go That's in great. and they clear cell receptor sites. And that causes a little bit of debris. You gotta wash it out. And also people have to realize now that it's warmer, we are sweating more, even if we're not a person that actually sweats. It we are expelling water and moisture through our pores. So we do actually even need a little bit more water than we normally take in. Yes. Um, sometimes people have problems with somebody just wrote in and asked about cramping. Yes. At night, if you apply this is to avoid cramping in the calves or the upper thighs. You want to take five drops of clary sage, seven drops of vetiver, and seven marjoram. Add coconut oil and put that on the back of your calf. 
that definitely will support soothing muscles so that you get a restful night's sleep and you don't have to leap out of bed and go, ah! <laughs> That's great. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. This is one of John's favorite oils. He loves fennel. He cooks with it. He makes up great marinades for different kinds of food that he gets ready in the refrigerator for. He barbecues. And fennel is his friend. But look, oh, look. <laughs> Other things it can do for you besides taste good. Again, I have to be honest, I didn't know all of these. And again, I, these are rumors. Okay. Rumors contributed by people who had some experience encouraging you to remember fennel as your friend. That's amazing. I always use fennel for my stomach, and I love fennel as well. I love the taste. I love the smell of it. I knew the breath thing. I knew the di digestion. I was not aware of some of the others. It's amazing. Okay, Dr. Hill. Everybody knows David K. Hill. He shares an invention that was 2011 and letting us know that our sweet fennel has compounds because they want that particular kind of range of compounds that are anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, positive mm -hmm. hormone activity is supported within the body, both male and female, amazing positive support for the gastrointestinal and ur urinary tract systems. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. That was from our bud, Dr. Hill. Okay. Yay. It is great. Think in terms of fennel is to pocket organs, like the bladder's a pocket, the colon's a pocket, meaning it has the ability to expand and it can retain or hold fluids or hold waste material. Sinuses are another kind of pocket. Okay? Using a little bit of fennel, those teeny, slick, silky molecules go in and lift debris out of the pocket. They lift it off the edges, and it also creates an environment in which our buddies, the parasites, need to find a way out. They are unwelcome, especially when fennel is around. The parasites go, uh-oh. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yes. And we're going to talk about cellulite in a second. But right now, doTERRA, because we're not talking about general walk into a food store and buy some stuff off the shelf that says, here's an essential oil. We're only talking about doTERRA. Right. It's safe to rub it on your skin. It's safe to use in cooking. It's safe to use it internally. It's great for cleaning your teeth. And again, if we're discouraging those parasitical things out of your body, that's going to give you relief you didn't even know you needed. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard someone once tell me that, that they make a tea from fennel. Yes, tea from fennel is excellent. Just remember, you heat the water up. But you let it sit for like 10 minutes before you put essential oils in. Because boiling water won't be kind to the molecules that you want to be effective inside your body. You want it to be less hot than boiling. Okay. 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 Here we go. Magic blends. Oh, look. Fennel plays nice with clary sage. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. And it can play nice with bergamot. That's why we put some of these suggestions up here. Right. I love the I love the courage fruit blend. Yes. Fennel, three drops, thyme, four drops, 
Black pepper, one drop. Ginger, one drop. Gently blend and apply to the bones behind the ears and the backs of the knees. That will boost your courage. It'll boost your courage to face the family on the 4th of July weekend. It will boost your courage to go in and ask for a raise because you forgot they forgot to give you one. <laughs> and I know that the women are all going to find you like that. Yes. Thank you. It's a great combination. You just take 10 drops coconut oil, six drops of fennel. Start on your outer thighs and rub upward. Just Sounds keep great. applying. Great. One lady said she did that and her sinus is clear. I said, you had cellulite in your sinus? <laughs> see, see how those rumors get going? Isn't it terrible the things people talk about? It is terrible. <laughs> Appetite suppressing inhalant. Okay. Just think about this. Most of the inhalers, the maximum number of drops you want to use is 11. So okay, you okay. would make up this blend ahead of time. Fennel, six drops. Bergamot, nine drops. Patchouli, six block drops. Okay. Add it to the wick and seal the inhaler. But you only need 11 drops. Okay? Mm -hmm. it that sounds like a great deal. deal. It's pretty easy, easy, too. Yeah. Yes. And in case you've got any cellulite in your sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No. no. I, I love the recipe for menopause balancing body oil. oil. Yes. Over Balance the that menopause. Balance that stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> two ounces coconut oil, fennel, two drops. Patchouli, true, coriander, wild orange, geranium, clary, sage, lime. Mix it together and apply it to the areas of extraordinary fullness. That's great. That's great. All right. Now, our friend, Digest Zen, I just want you to look at the combinations they have. Our friend, Digest Zen, has got fennel in it. One of the reasons fennel is in it, I think, my just my theory, again a rumor, because we think that they like the fact that parasites hate fennel. They also don't like ginger much and they definitely don't like caraway seed. So if your indigestion issue perhaps has to do with saved up parasites, Use your friendly digestive blend. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, look. Yay. Yay. Happy, foot. Happy foot. Yes. Okay. So, so where would you say to rub, rub fennel? fennel? Well, I really like to rub it right down the center. Now, you see over here where it says stomach, pancreas, right, and right. then it's because colon, small intestine. All those areas are good to put fennel. Sometimes you want to put it right here between the big toe and the index toe. The reason you want to put it there is because fennel, psychologically, can be great for mood lifting. It really does ground you. And right here would be the area where you would like to get, whoops, grounded. <laughs> Sorry, the foot jumped away. That's okay. That's you got, okay. It. You got it. Okay. There's a gazillion charts. Use one of your gazillion charts. Okay. 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 Bergamot. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is a secret, so don't listen. If you have an IUD that begins with an M and ends in an A, sometimes there's side effects. Some of the side effects are muscle cramping. Bong, bong, bong. This is the answer. It works really well to complement the side effects of the IUD. That's all I can say about that. Again, it's a rumor. Okay. 
Here's a nice blend. Oh, sweet, sweet. sweet. Yes. Let's see. Three drops of bergamot, two drops of cedarwort, and one drop of marjoram. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to give yeah, you some of the anti things to do with bergamot. Okay. It's anti anxiety, antibacterial for strep and staph. So, what does that mean about a staph infection on the skin, do you think? Hmm. Antidepressive, anti infectious, anti inflammatory. The calmative, it's a carminative, it's a digestive stimulant, it's an intestinal soother. It will calm you so you can sleep really well. It helps skin resist scar formation after injury. That's true. Think about that. So let's say you had some incisions to do with surgical something or another. After the stitches are removed, did you hear that part? After yes. the stitches are removed, you still wait 10 days. Then you can start applying bergamot lavender. You can start applying clary sage and geranium. There are any number of wonderful combinations of oils that will reduce scar formation, like unnecessary. Think of the extra things like adhesions. Because when you have a rip, a tear, or an incision, your body works overtime creating adhesions so that it won't come apart again. Isn't the body nice? The body's wonderful. Sometimes, though, extra adhesions just get in the way. So that's why using oils consistently can be very, very helpful. Oh, insects don't like bergamot. So if somebody doesn't like your Terra Shield spray, um, you can use bergamot. I always add a little arborvitae because Mosquitoes in particular do not like bergamot or arborvitae. Doesn't, um, doesn't bergamot also help with um, your skin condition on your scalp? Yes. For dandruff and things like that, and even um, for acne yes. in areas? Mm -hmm. It certainly can be. It's a and wonderful deodorizer it helps for wounds if you want to mix it with the doTERRA shampoo couple of drops you know right in your hand where you put the little bit because with doTERRA shampoo it takes a teeny teeny bit it's great with eczema seborrhea greasy skin and hair it really is fun to work with plus it smells really good it does it's a happy smell it yes. really is. It, it, you put it on and you just it, it just brightens your mood right away. Now, it, isn't yeah. there a warning though about what this can do? Like, doesn't it help do something with the liver? What do you think it does for the liver? Let me see. Hmm. Like that it, that anger word. <laughs> oh, do you think it could soothe the anger that's stored up in your liver? I've been told that someone told me that they that it was very helpful for them and it was very it was a very gentle way to work with that. You know, and it was very very soothing and helpful with reducing that those emotions. Yes, it is. Again, just a story from someone. Right. And what's really important is that you use oils consistently. One of the things Dr. Hill has been very clear about every time he's sharing new information on oils with us is that it's really important that people remember to use things consistently. So if you mm -hmm. use the bergamot and lavender and you are relaxed and having a really nice time having a conversation with your partner and you guys are having fun, then you might want to use it consistently. If you have scar tissue you're worried about, you want to apply it consistently. It's really, really important. If you want to be free of old anger, bergamot's gentle. It works well with the zendocrine, which is another wonderful blend doTERRA put together to help mm -hmm. the liver remember how to be young again 
and to work really good at cleaning out. Mm -hmm. See, we kind of found these things to be very helpful right here. So um, to let it go, you know, like the song, let it go. Grapefruit, yes. bergamot, geranium. Excellent. Oh, I love it. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> That's right. And the wooden lang lang. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent. Now, you told us three wonderful oils today, and they have a lot of the same. Um, they work in a lot of similar manners. So would you... Would you recommend using, like combining all three together or just keep it to two? What would, what would you suggest? Well, they each have unique characteristics and some right. are more effective. They're all good tools. Some are more effective okay. than others. But we know that more isn't necessarily better, so. Right. You want to use the minimum amount. You get to experiment. Each person is okay. unique. You got to remember each person's unique. We please want to experiment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember, a lot of these oils can be diffused, and if you don't have a diffuser, right, can't you just put them in a spray bottle and, you know, diffuse them yourself into the air? Yes. It helps if you put a little teeny bit of Epsom salts mm -hmm. bottom of your sprayer, add the oils to the Epsom salts, then add water. It kind of helps the molecules be dispersed into the water. So when you're spritzing, you get all of it, not just around the top. Excellent. But each one of these has a little different twist. Remember, helichrysum is a great key lighter. It helps move out debris. Roman chamomile, again, gives you courage to face old anger. Mm -hmm. These are very effective based on the rumors that brought them to this page. But each person is unique. Your hydration level is unique. Your stress level is unique. Your ability to be consistent. It's really important that you be consistent. Oh, look. More blends. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I like the wording of the bitter and brooding thoughts. Nobody really? does that. Relief from bitter mm -hmm. and brooding thoughts. Bergamot, oh, helichrysum, arbor, is in there. Yes. Sometimes bitter and brooding is around for so long, we tend to think it behaves like a iris bay, or you might say virus. Gently blend <laughs> and apply to the bottoms of feet, inside the forearms, rub them together, on the bones behind the ear or on the sternum. Breathe in deeply several times a day. Excellent. Some people become bitter and they don't even realize it. And one of your good friends will walk up to you and say, by the way, you're really being really negative lately. It's like something bad happened and you're bitter. You got to take note and figure out a way to turn that around. Because otherwise you're going to draw to you bitter, brooding people. And one thing a bitter, brooding person doesn't need is another bitter, brooding friend. <laughs> no, that would definitely be a double whammy, and we don't want those whammies, no. no. We often break up friendships like that. Okay, yes. aggression diminishing diffuser. If you have aggressive tendencies or you're on the rampage, Use some bergamot and geranium and lemon, lang lang. Combine those suckers together. Just diffuse it. Just sit in the room for like 10 minutes. Declare your positive intention for moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like, I like the um, healing oil for herpes. Nobody yes. likes that word, but people do get cold sores, and that's what it is. And yep. um, the fractionated coconut oil and the bergamot and the wild orange and mar melaleuca. Yep. yep. Wonderful. I'm and of course people pay attention to the caveat at the bottom. Eliminate sugar. Yes, sugar contributes to the stress that manifests exactly. larger cold sores. Mm hmm And if you're feeling fearful. Bergamot's your friend with clary sage, cypress, and ginger. 
And for a kicker, throw in some fennel. Num num. Mm -hmm. Great diffusers. Two people are writing. Is this going to be posted? It is being recorded. And Debbie and I are always optimistic that the recording works. And we will let you know where it's posted. If you're not part of our training Facebook page, write to me by email. Let me know who your upline is so I can make sure it's okay with them that we expose you to. To us. <laughs> Yeah, to us. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> sorry. Sometimes, I just had to put that out there. Sorry. <laughs> I know. We're from New Jersey, so sometimes bad words sneak out. You need to be warned. It's not intentional. Okay. Um, some people want to know all the time, what's an analgesic? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Reduces the feeling of pain in the body. Actually, it stimulates secretion of certain hormones, which right. lessen sensitivity of nerves to pain. Therefore, it's very helpful in cases of sprains, okay. aches, other symptoms, ailments. This means you can avoid the dangerous side effects of many over-the-counter measures, which often have adverse side effects and can do damage to your other organs when you rely on them heavily as well as thinning your blood oops or causing you to lose sleep you know wouldn't it be better to rub a little something on or breathe in a little something than having to swallow all those pills all day long well the I problem is that. once people experience relief it's hard mm -hmm. for them to trust something else new to experience but relief it, works. it really it does, does work. Plus, we both know from personal experience, we don't have the list of 47 negative side effects when you use essential oils consistently, when you drink your water consistently. You just feel better. You just act with more energy. You have more energy. It's one of the side effects of using oils consistently. Mm -hmm. What's that bottom one? I can't read it. Urinary tonic blend? Yes. Um, a lot of women in particular um, need some help with this issue, and uh, you can use the fractionated coconut oil, the bergamot, frankincense, and juniper berry. Mm -hmm. And if you gently mix that, uh, rub it over your bladder and kidney, er kidney areas twice daily or as needed, and it's amazing, amazing uh, things will happen. Right. Keep Next those week. kidneys functioning. Dialysis yeah, and don't forget your not water. Dialysis is not good for you no. to be tied to. You would like to have other options. So keep those kidneys functioning. Yeah, and you and I have talked about how many people are um, going to dialysis lately. It's really a scary number. Well, I, and sadly, Deb, my experience has been people didn't know what was in food. They didn't understand about additives. They didn't understand about sugar. They didn't understand about things that could hurt them. But it tasted good. It was pretty. You know, some of the dyes and stuff, it's really pretty, but not too good for you. No, and we're all, you know what? We're all conditioned to respond to the ads that we see on television or hear them on radio. And, you know, and we do, our, our minds lead us in that direction sometimes, but we have to pay attention to what's the best thing for us. Yep. Yes, and every day expressing gratitude. As soon as you wake Absolutely. up, gratitude as your day goes on brings you more good stuff. It does. Studies okay. show that gratitude not only can increase levels of well-being and happiness among those who do cultivate it. In addition, grateful thinking and especially expression of it out loud and to others is associated with increased levels of energy, optimism, and empathy. Da -da -da -da. It's true. Yes. You and I have been talking about the need to express gratitude for many years now, and, and I know personally, this is my story, I know it makes a very big difference in my life 
when I start my day out already being grateful just for the chance to have the day. And uh, it only gets better as it goes on if you maintain those levels of gratitude and express them. You don't want to say it out loud or say it within your head, but express it. And, we, and you'll be amazed. You'll find you have more of what you're grateful for. Absolutely. Yes. It brings it to you somehow, right? It does. It's always amazing to me. And like, whoa, there it is. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. I want you guys Aww. to have a great week. We have another webinar early tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And it's a, what we call a crazy webinar because we're going to ask you to take risks with people who've been damaged. And we're going to ask you to have fun with them and work at being aware that when you're working with people who've suffered trauma, please remember you can't take anything they say personally. Please. No, that's true. Yes. Deb, thank you for helping us with the oils. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you for having me. And I just wish everyone the rest of a really happy, sunshiny day. Right. Whoop. Uh, restless leg syndrome. 98% of restless leg syndrome is long-term dehydration. Um, you got to really, you know, look at, there's a Facebook page called Circle of Healing. Many of our old or former webinars have ended up on that page. Ones where we were particularly bad. <laughs> I uh, have another page and you have to write to us by email and let us know who your upline is and it's okay to see if it's okay if you get access to the bad page. It's not really bad. It's just there's lots of rumors on it and you know how it is with rumors. We want to be very careful. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Deb. So much. Thank I'm you. I'm going to my Clary Sage. Okay, me too. I okay. told you I'm changing my order. I need a bunch more. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, bye everyone. Be happy. Yes, choose happy. Thank you for playing. Next week we have prizes. Tomorrow morning it's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs>